Hi folks, uh, in this video, what I wanna demo is the new custom alert mechanism that we've introduced as part of the latest version of Microsoft 365 DSC. This feature is gonna be available starting on October 19th. So it's gonna be part of version 1.22.10.19.1. And essentially what it allows you to do is route uh, certain types of event that are being thrown from Microsoft 365 DSC into external system. So for example, you can actually have um, a webhook registration where whenever you, you hit any errors inside of Microsoft 365 DSC, it sends a message to that endpoint or even capture all the configuration drifts that have been uh, identified. So what I've done here is I've actually went and I created a very simple REST API that has a post event that will receive an event item that has details and event, event type. Event type could be error, could be drift, could be warnings, right? So you can see that my service right now is running on localhost 5167. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna call into the new M365 DSC notification endpoint registration commandlet that lets me take in a URL. So the URL in my case here, it's gonna be this here, so my uh, my root, I'm sorry, I should actually go and do this here. And then the endpoint is event. And I need to specify an event type. So in my case, I wanna configure it to um, listen for any drift event that is being detected. So that should take a few seconds. Just to verify that everything is good, I can go and call the get-m365 DSC notification endpoint registration and I can see that my registration is currently set properly. This is stored in the registry key, by the way. Uh, for other inf uh, environments where a registry is not available, you can actually define them at runtime, but you need to define them every time you start a new PowerShell session. So now that my subscription is done, uh, what I wanna do is I actually wanna go and create a configuration drift. So I have a very simple configuration that just has one Azure AD application in here, and I'm gonna change um, this to be test Nick. I'm gonna go back here. I'm actually gonna go and compile this. And then I'll run it. But before I run it and I apply it, because now it's a new setting, it's gonna detect that there's a drift and it needs to update it. What I wanna show you as well is that my service right now is running, right? So this is my REST API. And what I'm gonna be able to see is the actual output of the event as soon as my, uh, my event is being routed back to that subscription endpoint, I'm gonna see the details of the drift appear in here. So let's go back to um, my PowerShell session and let's start this. So it'll take a few seconds to run. And then what we'll see is we'll see the entire content of the drift being sent back to that REST API so that I can actually capture it. So you can send it to external systems like Plonk, Splunk, and automatically create support tickets. You can have it route mm. to an external system that you have internally or to a bot or whatever you want, but that allows you to register for custom events across the entire M365 DSC stack. So let's just go back here. It is still taking its time. All right any second now. Boom, there you go. So we've detected the drift and essentially this contains the information about all the drifts. The parameters that are not in the desired state is the home page URL that is set to test two and should have been set, or sorry, it's currently set to test two and should have been set to test Nick. All right, so hopefully you understand how this, uh, this functions. In my case here, what I wanna do now is I'm just gonna go back to my get uh, registration and I'm gonna go and remove this because I don't want this to be sent in the future so I can call into the remote remove m365 DSC notification endpoint registration so hope folks uh, you find uh, that to be useful and uh, I'll see you again next time thanks